teach you how to build your own toothpaste dispenser. Not only will you get to brush your teeth with the press of a button, but you'll also get to use your engineering skills. Everybody has them. Here at Colgate, people find new solutions to engineering, scientific, and environmental problems every day. Today, with this project, we'll be using recycled materials that would have otherwise ended up in the garbage. By thinking about how we can reuse what we already have laying around the house, we can make a big impact on how much garbage we produce. First, let's talk about what you'll need. One plastic cup, a roll of adhesive tape, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, a soap pump from a liquid soap dispenser, two pieces of cardboard, a three to four inch nail, one spring from a pen, and any paint and stickers you'd like to decorate with. Hello, I'm here to talk about recycling. What is recycling? Recycling is the process of reusing materials instead of throwing them out. This could be done by you or it could be done by a big company. You recycle when you use a milk carton as a pot for a plant, reuse a plastic container that you get from the store, or use an old shirt as a rag. The other type of recycling is when the aluminum, plastic, and cardboard that you put in your recycling bin are collected along with everyone else's and a company reforms it into something new. For example, many brands use recyclable material in their packaging, which is when the cardboard boxes you put in the trash are collected and repurposed for use. The real question is why should we recycle? Recycling helps our earth stay healthy because it means we are using up less of our resources. One ton of recycled aluminum alone saves 40 barrels of oil. Recycling can also mean less landfills are used, more trees remain intact, and less water is wasted. Recycling one ton of paper instead of getting it from trees saves 7,000 gallons of water, 380 gallons of oil, and 17 trees in the process. Now let's get started. First, start with your cup. Then, carefully with some scissors, cut yourself two pieces of cardboard, about a half inch to an inch in length. Now with an adult, hot glue the two pieces of cardboard to the inside of the cup, opposite from each other. It should look like this. Now carefully with your scissors again or with something safe, cut a hole at the bottom of your cup. It does not have to be perfect. Make it large enough so that the cap of the toothpaste tube fits. Now get your nail and with an adult, poke through the cup from the inside. It should be more towards the bottom of the cup. Now you want to carefully hot glue the spring to the cup only and make sure that the nail can still slide in and out. Now hot glue your soap dispenser cap to the sharp end of the nail and hold it while it dries. Now check to see if it's working. And now for the really fun part, decorating your toothpaste dispenser. You can use paint, stickers, sparkles, or whatever you like. Put your whole imagination into it. And ta-da! Your own toothpaste dispenser. You can use tape or any other kind of adhesive to mount your toothpaste dispenser. Here's how I have mine. Here it is in action. Now that you've made your own toothpaste dispenser, can you think of anything else you could repurpose into something new? Like a light bulb into a flower base, or old jeans into a crafty tool belt. Colgate is constantly improving projects and using innovation to find new ways to help our customers help the environment. 
By using creativity and engineering, we can make the small changes that add up to a huge impact. Thanks for watching!